Well, Ken Ramrath, Deputy Chief, Community Volunteer Fire Department, just outside of Houston, Texas. Uh, today we're going and we're doing a uh, walk around of our new uh, Velocity Cab uh, Pierce Pumper. Um, we had originally started out years ago with uh, the fanciness of a chrome design of our uh, front bumpers, but we really enjoyed moving to the, uh, to the steel bumper. Uh, we really enjoyed being able to go and have the safety of the, um, the uh, painted surface here to be able to go and give us a lot of traction to help us out with the guys going and getting up on and doing maintenance and, and uh, detailing of the truck itself. Uh, here we have our front bumper line, 150 foot, inch and three quarter hose for handling trash and car fires. Something very easy and, easy and accessible for us to get to. Um, basically up front here in the, in, the, in the driver's side is nothing more than a, a normal velocity cab. We enjoy the, the custom of the, of the uh, truck itself the ability to be able to have a, a free movement of uh, looking around inside the cab. Um, one of the unique things that we have done with this truck is that we have removed the air packs from the cab. Uh, forever, the firefighter getting dressed, getting up inside the cab of the truck, a lot of guys were going and wanting to get into the habit of not wearing their seat belts trying to go put their air packs on, get themselves dressed as they're driving down the street going to a fire. What we wanted to do is we wanted to do, look at it from a two-fold perspective. We wanted to have the safety of the firefighter, getting them dressed, getting them in a position to get up into the cab, seat belted in, staying seat belted in as they travel down the street. But then we're also looking at it from a health perspective. The air pack worn on the outside of the uh, firefighter going into the, uh, the building that is on fire, the carcinogens, the chemicals that are embedded into that air pack that we may not necessarily get out completely. Having that air pack inside the cab when the firefighter is going to an EMS call, if they're going to the store for groceries, or even for that matter if we're doing a public relations event with the small children climbing around inside, we didn't want that, that, that equipment with the carcinogens inside. So we basically have gone, removed the air packs from the cab, and we have gone and designed a roll-up door, a roll-up door with a slide-out tray that we're going to be able to mount our air packs. So that way when the firefighter arrives on location, it is going to be nothing more than an easy step he opens up the cab door, he has his air pack right here. The air pack can go and get thrown up over top of his, uh, his head onto his back. He now has the ability to grab his hose, flake it out and be able to go inside to make his attack on the fire. Keeping all of that equipment from out of the cab area, keeping it safe and as healthy as possible for that firefighter. We have a 2000 GPM pump with a built-in calf system. Uh, we have really found that uh, by introducing the, the air foam system and, and uh, some of the areas of our territory, we may not necessarily have a close fire hydrant. We carry 750 gallons of water on this truck and in conjunction with the 50 gallon foam cell, the compressed air, we can really be able to go inside a room and contents fire or just say a fire in an attic area. We can really do a, a, a quick knockdown on it with not having to worry about trying to go and get that established water supply through a hydrant system. So it gives us the ability to do a really quick interior attack, knock down on the fire, and if things progress to where they start getting worse on us, we then have the ability through our five inch hose to hook up to a, a hydrant system and, and get constant water supply working for us. One of the things that we enjoyed doing on this truck here was that we having a built-in drawer system for all of our adapters. Previous trucks we have had nothing but open compartment where we had to go and, and utilize um, adapters and, and, and work up on being able to go and secure all of our adapters inch and three quarter, two and a half, five inch adapters. Here we have the ability 
to be able to have them in a drawer out of the way to where they're not in, interfering with the driver in the course of his actions. Everything is nice and neat, kept in their places. Our extra gated Ys and, and Siamese can all be in this compartment ready to go. We have the ability for our light tower control that we have in here with our generator. Compartment space. Utilization of our air bottles. One of the things that I failed to mention with this that we did on this truck was that we, uh, we uh, installed a Mach 8 110 volt RV air conditioning unit. Houston, Texas, very hot course of the summer, very humid. We want to go again. We're looking out for the safety and the health of the firefighter. So by being able to go and have that AC unit, that RV AC unit on the roof, plugged in on shore power when we're back at the station, we can have the firefighters gear inside the cab, cab doors shut, keeps a nice constant, say, 68, 70 degree temperature. That way, when they do leave on a call, they're putting on nice cool gear to help keep their body and their core temperature down. So as when they do arrive on location, their stress level is not as, as high as it, you know, we have had in the past. Um, again, nothing more than we have had just, just several places for really good open compartment spaces for being able to mount our tools. One of the things that we did differently on this truck here is that we cut down on our tailboard a little bit. We narrowed it up, made it a little bit more of a sleeker, easier design for us. Again, with the guard and, and the rough uh, painted surface on here, it's a non-slip. Again, we're overall looking out for that safety of the firefighter. Up on top, we have what we created, what we call coffin boxes, which are nothing more than just overall storage of some additional equipment. Some of our rescue jacks, um, just some loose tools that we may not necessarily use on a regular basis, we have gone and put on this truck. Same thing on the opposite side. We have on this side here, we have the utilization of whatever we can find to be able to go and utilize for storage. Air, bag, uh, air bottle storage on both sides. And on this one here, we have a multi-board uh, tool compartment to where we can utilize the back wall and on either side to be able to utilize and take and, and just use as much space for tools and being able to mount all of our equipment. Again, same thing on this side here. Roll up door, slide out tray, air pack. Firefighter will be able to go and have his air pack to where he can be able to go don it when he's outside of the cab, takes his hose, goes off into the fire. Overall, Pierce trucks have been as absolutely ideal for our department. Uh, we have been uh, utilizing Pierce trucks for, wow, several, several years. Pretty much our entire fleet is nothing but Pierce. Um, just the reputation of Pierce and their workmanship and, and the overall um, dealings that we have had with Pierce. Siddons Martin, who is our sales uh, um, group that we deal with in, in the Houston area, they have just been absolutely perfect.